So we're doing a large project in four phases, uh, expanding the concourses. We're, so we're building a, a steel shield around the stadium. Hey there, ALSD, Jared Frank here, back at ALSD International, this time with Jeroen van Eersel from Amsterdam. Jeroen, thanks for joining us. Yeah. First of all, I think your arena has recently undergone a name change. Can you just fill us in on how we should refer to your venue? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it was named uh, Amsterdam Arena for 22 years. Uh, Johan Cruijff, one of the largest Ajax legends, uh, passed away a few years ago, so we re renamed uh, the stadium after him uh, last spring. Uh, so we're doing a big project on name change at the moment. And the venue is also uh, has recently finished some things and is continuing a great deal of reinvestment. We yep. just witnessed you on a panel talking uh, about that project. And one thing that I took note of is this new shield that is being built around the exterior. Can you fill us in a little bit on the details of what that shield is made up of in terms of materials, et cetera, and then what is that doing in terms of concourse augmentation? Yeah. Yeah, we're doing a large renovation project. Uh, stadium is 22 years old now. Uh, all the concourses were in, in the style of 22 years ago. Uh, second tier quite narrow as well. Uh, capacity of the concourse was 6,000, while 27,000 people have seating there. So that's just too small. Um, so we're doing a large project in four phases. Uh, expanding the concourses, we're, so we're building a, a, a steel shield around the stadium with a transparent um, a foil in between, so you, you can have a nice view over Amsterdam when you look outside. Uh, so we're tripling the volume of the, of the concourses, building new bars, building new restaurants, well, investing in quality, that's mainly what we're doing. In terms of how you're populating those concourses, you mentioned the new bars, etc. Are there additional points of sale, uh, new ways for your, your customers to make payments at those points of sale? Can you walk us through those pieces? Yeah, yeah well, we used to have uh, a closed payment system for years. So people had to get in line to buy an arena card. Then they had to get in line uh, at the bar or kiosk to buy their drinks and their food. We've changed that recently. Um, so now you can buy contactless payment with credit card or debit card. So you only have to stand in line once. You know what amount of money you have on your bank account. So you know what you can order. Uh, so that's, uh, well, really, uh, really positive. With the new concourses, uh, the old kiosks are still there, but we're building extra bars. Uh, so when you enter the concourse from, from the section in the stadium, you just ran into it. Uh, and that, that helps, helps a lot. I think the increasement of, uh, of, of, of sales is, is, is about 20%. 90% of the increasement is coming from the new points of sale. So uh, that w even when we're still working with temporarily bars in, in winter, we're going to do uh, the real bars that will stay there uh, for a longer period of time. Uh, even now, at the beginning, it's still working. And you're also modernizing your premium seating inventory as well. Can yeah. you provide some of the details of that? Yeah, well, on the, on the site that's already finished at uh, the stadium, we had a restaurant, tripled the size of that as well. Uh, but we did it together with Heineken Interior Design. Well, they're specialized in, uh, in restaurants and bars, of course, and we're specialized in stadiums. So the, the partnership uh, worked out uh, really well. Uh, we got some new spaces, different layers of, of hospitality over there, and we have a lot of happy customers now. And you are truly a multi-purpose facility. This is not just a football stadium. Can no. you provide some detail on some of the other events yeah. that you are hosting in your venue? Yeah, I think we do between 50 and 70% is, uh, is football uh, for Ajax, 80% uh, season ticket holders. So they will come back every week. Uh, so we have a great offering for them, but we have to be flexible with the offering because people will get bored if they have the same packages for, uh, for uh, two years in a row. Uh, the other events we're doing is uh, large concerts. So we have the Ed Sheeran's, the Beyonce's, uh, the, the international tours. Uh, we do uh, EDM uh, dance events. Uh, we have one uh, within two weeks, 35,000 people uh, for the top 10 uh, DJ Mac uh, election. Uh, so they kind of party all night between eight in the evening and six in the morning. So that's totally different vibe than being at a football match. So all hospitality and catering has to be adjusted to those kinds of, uh, of events. And I believe you've also hosted an esports event yeah. uh, recently. 
uh, what was that event? And I'd specifically like you to speak to the creative use of your hospitality yeah. space during that event. Yeah. Yeah, we've done several esports events, uh, not in large volume. So the, the, the max volume of the event was 4,000 guests. And what we're doing for a few years now is, is trying to partner up with, uh, with uh, ESL and work together on the concept of the event. Uh, so we're using the hospitality spaces instead of uh, just going into the, st the stadium itself. Uh, we have 25 rooms on one side of the stadium, uh, all different levels. Some are larger, 1,000 people capacity with higher ceilings, so that's where we play the finales. But we also have smaller rooms, lower ceilings, uh, flexible rooms between 50 and 400 people. So that's where people can play their cells. We give demos with AR, with VR. We even built uh, a retail store in the stadium so people can buy the products that they're testing. And we've done it for three years in a row. And you see um, uh, by just trying and doing it and learning that the event is evolving. So working on one, uh, that's going to be there in the future and it's going to be totally different than the last one i think uh, because uh, well well uh, it's a really really quickly changing market changing sector um so we're we're learning there together with the organizer and in that way we try to uh, grow organically uh, and put in the best experience uh, we can give yeah and we're learning right along with you so why don't we leave it there for today but we look forward to following the progression of all of these projects throughout the next year and look forward to seeing your progress and success. Yeah, Thank perfect. you so much. Looking forward. Thanks.